Hi everyone, this is the workshop number one. We are going to make a Scottish Terrier. First, these are the tools you need. You need to download this template from the university's website and make a copy of it on a sheet of cardstock paper like this. A cardstock paper is the best material for this project. You will need also ruler, this is a scoring tool, an awl, a pair of scissors, craft knife, and cutting mat. If you don't have a cutting mat, you can use the stack of old newspaper or a thick telephone book. If you have one of those telephone books already, then you can use those old ones that you don't need anymore. That's all we need. Okay, the first thing you want to do is to score the folding lines with the tool like this. And scoring lines are indicated on the template as valley folding lines, that's a dashed line, mountain folding lines, that's dotted line. And valley folding means you be folding the template like this. Mountain folding lines the opposite. You be folding the template like this. Okay, so that's the difference. But when you are fold, uh, scoring the folding lines, you don't have to differentiate those two lines. You can score all the folding lines the exact same way. If you are scoring the straight line. The best way to do that is to use this kind of ruler. You place your ruler along the straight folding lines. Then score the line with this tool by adding a little pressure to the tip. Then move your tool, scoring tool along this line. Now here you don't have any uh, folding lines, so that means you can just skip that. Then pick it up from here all the way through. Here's another one. So you walk on all the straight lines this way. Now, if you are scoring um, lines that are not straight, then you need to do it freehand like these lines on the back of the Scottish Terrier. Like so. And that's how you score. Okay, and the next step is cutting. Okay, you want to cut all the solid black lines. That includes these lines inside the template. For that, you want to use this kind of a craft knife and these lines will be difficult to cut with a pair of scissors. Okay, so let me demonstrate. So that's our eyebrows. Okay. Beard. Okay, 
take one of these scissors, then cut the template along the outlines. Okay, so now the template has been cut, so let's turn this dog into a three-dimensional object. Okay, so first thing you want to do is fold this dog into um, along this spinal line. Make sure you skip this back, avoid that part. Then you fold the dog in half all the way to the tip of the tail. And when you fold the dog, make sure you uh, keep these folding lines, printed folding lines inside the dog, not on the outside. Okay, and if you follow that, then when the, the dog is constructed, you don't see any folding lines on the outside, so it's a cleaner finish. All right, so now this is folded in half. And what you want to do next is, along these, um, this line, mountain fold lines, you fold the neck up, then push this shoulder line in by valley folding it, like this, okay? Then you also push the back of the dog down to create this curve, okay? Okay, so let's work on the head next. Work on this diamond shape at the top of the head. Follow these two um, folding lines. That's valley folding. Like this. So that head will go over the top of the neck. Okay. Then you want to Work on the muzzle, and as you can see, to create the muzzle, you need to work with these two different folding lines. Mountain folding, valley folding. And if you follow these two different lines, you have muzzle, like this. Okay? so that this bushy eyebrows will go over the lower half of the face. So you will be pushing this part in underneath the eyebrows, like so. So that's how you make the face. Then, next step is work on the front legs, okay? Fold this front legs along these valley folding lines Okay, then when these are folded, you use these two cuts and cross these cuts under the face like this. And these are interlocking joints. So if you use these joints, this dog can maintain three-dimensional shape without use of any glue or tape. Okay. So that's how you uh, finish the front legs. Then, let's work on the tail next. As you can see, there are two different lines of the folding indicated here. And if you follow that, mountain folding and valley folding, you'll be 
pushing down the tail first at the root, then folding it up like this. Okay, so that's how you uh, make the tail. Then let's make these ears pop up. Fold this, these ears along these mountain folding lines. Like so. Then the final touch is make the uh, hind leg curve a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is take one of these you know, round tool handle part, then train the legs by rolling over it. So that will add natural curve to the hind legs. And that's it. Your Scottish Terrier is done. And you can make um, different type of Scottish Terrier by changing